The homeowners chose a blend of the open, light Hamptons look of America's East Coast and the French country house style which influenced it. For architect Fricky Reitenbach and interior designer Anna Smith, it's a favorite. This is such a beautiful home. What first attracted the owners to this property? At first, the clients were drawn to the big, lush, open garden space and the well-established trees in the estate. Yes, they enjoyed the, the existing house, but they realized soon that it's not gonna suit the actual needs of the family. Yes, and Fricky and his team created the perfect foundations for us to come in as interior designers and fill the client's brief. The compartment-like living rooms were opened wide to invite the northern sun. The space is amazing. I love how it brings and allows so much light into the home. The large glazing facade creates this harmony to the house and invites people to enjoy the great views and the features of the house. Yeah, the double volume that Fricky and his company created is absolutely stunning, but it also meant that we had to have a lot of the furniture pieces and the art custom-made because you simply cannot buy the scale in the shops. We started off with two items that the client specified that she absolutely must have, and then we built it up from there. And those two items are the pink sofa and that beautiful oversized floral painting by Kim Black that was also custom made for the space. Removing the old staircase and 80% of the first floor slab allowed for both expansive entertaining and cozy family areas. The open plan allows for a beautiful flow through the whole house. It does, doesn't it just? And the main feature was to also create the same window spaces that we have at the double volume also throughout to the kitchen space. It was important for the client to have a lot of light still flowing into the kitchen area as well as throughout the house. These two carver dining chairs <laughs> are just two of my favorite pieces in the house. The legs are quite masculine, the framework, and then it's contrasted with the delicate floral print. And I think that is what we try to achieve with the design, is to continuously contrast bold and masculine with the softness of pink and, and florals. And it just gets pulled through and it works. This wooden table was made to order, paired with dining chairs the family brought from Australia. The client requested a master chef kitchen where he's got large open space to prepare his food and overlooking the rest of the entertainment space. Finally, a center island that is big enough for me. Oh, I feel at home here. <laughs> and I love how it complements the little details of gold and touches and make it so elegant. We pulled the gold elements through from the formal lounge in the entrance and the little gold details on the lights as well as on the stove dictated that we had to use gold handles throughout the cabinetry. The statement kitchen still manages to include a cozy breakfast nook and a signature pink kettle. From here, they went split level with impressive effect. This is where we come to my favorite part of the house, where we link from the master chef kitchen to the outside Boma area through the lounge area and overlooking the bar space. We had to transition from this space into the much more masculine bar area. So we positioned this beautiful lounge club chair to take you from this area into the man's world down there. <laughs> Harmony, I don't know if you noticed the little details that actually make up the bigger picture here. Like the spiral legs of these gorgeous two chairs that you only get through custom-made stuff. And then the timber elements in the bar were done to just bring some of the timber colour from the kitchen through to echo in the bar. It's just to create that flow in a home and it gives you breathing space because everything is harmonious. That's an interesting wine cellar. It's the first time I've seen one that is exposed to the public. Usually it's in like a different room. The main thing for this was still to have the client involved with his family and friends instead of really going down into a submerged cellar below ground. Is that a boma I see? Definitely harmony. 
And a feature of the BOMA was also incorporating these little elements of lighting below the seating area of the BOMA as well as the stone cladding, as you can see repeating throughout the house on the exterior. I've noticed that the theme of French provincial style continues even into the patio. A wraparound patio is created connecting all the living spaces all the way throughout towards the BOMA space. We also had the furniture custom made for the space, but we created different areas for different uses. A day bed for reading your book or a nice family meal al fresco, or even just a little table for tea for two. I can definitely see myself spending a lot of time out here. And how about the lap pool? The lap pool is also heated and protected with seamless glass balustrading, preventing the little ones to actually go into the pool while the owner is not watching. Well, if the pool is heated, then I think it's time for us to... Oh. I think hold on to that a little bit. <sighs> let's, let's go upstairs. There's Fine. more to see. Definitely. Fine. Let's go show you around. They're not any fun. <laughs> <laughs> Being the daughter of parents in the interiors business, Anna lived through 10 home makeovers as a child. So this is second nature. Every son's hobbies and interests were portrayed in their rooms so they can express themselves in their spaces. And the client was very much involved in selecting the individual wallpapers for, for every room and the different elements. So in this room, we have the aeroplanes in the next room, dogs. The middle child is very, very um, enamored with animals in general. And then the baby boy, he just loves also camping in the outdoors. It was a lot of fun doing the boys' rooms. Their parents opted for all-out luxury and strong French influences. This is my kind of bedroom. Yes, definitely, Harmony. One of the main ideas for the client was to have a large open bedroom space with the lounge seating area overlooking the garden space. But in winter times, what do you need? You need a nice fireplace. Yeah. Especially a fireplace like this heats up a large bedroom space where you have a separate dressing room as well as a large bathroom area. What we did here was just to create an oasis of calm, basically. Soft textures, some velvets. What we also did was to layer a very thick piled rug over the bedroom carpet just to create that very comforting, cocooning feeling. We also incorporated some of the black tiles into the bathroom just to carry through the black elements that you find downstairs into the space. Continuing our beautiful French provincial style. Exactly, that's what we <laughs> aimed for. I think I feel at home here, but there's something that is calling me. The swimming pool. Well, <laughs> of course. <laughs> boys will be boys. <laughs> right. I think I will go join you. <laughs> <laughs> the original Breezy Hamptons architecture is designed for an expansive feeling of being in the scenery. And that's just what Fricky and Anna have achieved. The moment I've been waiting for, to dip into the pool. This is going to be fun. <laughs> yeah, such a beautiful day, but where's Anna? I have no idea what happened to her. Oh, well, boys day then. Let's go, Anna. <laughs> Weaning children and adults off smart devices and into an active lifestyle can be simple. <laughs>